special deals for special people. Hello, my name is Carl Swenson, and I'm going to give you a little tour inside the tax commissioner's website. We're going to go look at the tax assessor's assessment of certain properties, and we're going to focus in on commercial properties today. I think you'll find this extremely interesting. Let's start by going to the Henry County website, and that is Henry County, or excuse me, henry.ga.us. Well, actually, it's uh, cohenry.ga.us. And we'll go to the tax assessor, and then we'll search properties and follow the prompts. And we'll search by map. I find it a uh, little bit easier to get a feel for what we're looking at by turning on the aerials. And that way there's no confusion. And we're going to start by going to the western reaches of District 2 in Henry County. And we'll start with the Atlanta Motor Speedway, an interesting property. Typically, this has been a cash cow for the tax commissioner's office. And it appears any time they need more money, they just up the assessment uh, for these poor commercial entities. But let's take a closer look at it here. When we go down to the level of being able to see where the condos are, you will notice that they're all sectioned off. And they all have a property value of, or land value of $500. I'll just show you a couple. They're all uh, using the same value. Okay? So keep that in mind. Because now we're going to go look at some really interesting properties again in District 2. And this is at the southern end of the county, right on the border between Spalding and Henry, but in Henry County. And here we go. This one looks rather strange, don't you think? Now, here's your $100 valuation for 6.51 acres, all zoned C3. Don't see many of those around. This is a special deal for some very special person. Goes to show, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Here I've clicked on the red boxes to show you that they're appraised at that amount. And then these other boxes are individually appraised at um, their own valuation and the smaller individual units, once again, have their own property tax evaluation. Now, if you are clever enough and you do the math, you'll find that these numbers are really, really um, curious, to say the least. They just don't add up for like properties. So now we're going to take a trip up to and I believe this is still going to be District 2. I'm not sure on this, but this one is the, this one's one of the best I've seen as far as an example of how to get something for nothing. And what we're looking at here is uh, Corporate Center Drive and Corporate Center Court. Two properties laid out very much the same way is in regards to how they are platted. And I'll put both of them up so you can see, because this is terrible. Again, we go to the parking lot. Once again, we find that it's zone commercial. And once again, we find that it is $100. Now, I've looked at each and every one of these individual boxes. And yes, indeed, every one of them is at $100. So there's 11 of them. So 11 plus the parking lot is 12. That means the commercial tax 
for this commercial property is 12, the, the land value is $1,200. Too bad. Here we go again. This one's on corporate, corporate center court. And you'll notice the same thing. $100 for the building land and also the property. Here's another one that's of interest. This one is um, bordering I-75 in the hospital district. That one has a uh, valuation of, let's see, I might have gone too fast on there, but the parking lot on this one has a valuation of, again, $100. And the only thing that's got normal or semi-normal valuation is these carved out sections. And when you do the math on this, I think it winds up being somewhere around, I don't know, 250000 And if we look at the adjoining property, gee, 399 And this one, hey, there's one for 248 And then the city of Stockbridge, who pays no tax, 359 so the numbers are not adding up there. And then we'll, we'll take you over to the hospital area and let you see somebody who doesn't know somebody in Henry County. Because if you look at their little property, C3 again, wow, 131000 They've got it laid out to be able to do this, but I guess the assessor wanted to treat them a little different. 9000 for the one building. 14.3 for the bigger one, and 18.5 for the end one. What a deal, huh? All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at the uh, parking lot next door. Here's one, 112. Here's another, 116. And here's one with the entire property. Land value of 165. So you can see there's some serious discrepancies going on here. Now let's take a little trip on the other side of I-75 and take a look at these apartments. Actually, they're like condos. But then again, who knows what they're used for. Again, the parking lot, $100. Now I'm going to the individual units. And I'm just going to go from top to bottom here, and I will tell you that all of them are appraised, or uh, excuse me, they have a land value of $1,000, every one of them. There's about 100 of them, so do the math. They're paying tax to the tune of um, land value assessments of $110,000. I'm not going to go over the residential ones because they are there are so many. But I will tell you that there are 300 such special deals across the county.